That's the f***ing problem with him, man. It's the fact that I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's doing. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Before you start the reaction, here's the artist snippet promotion of the week right here. If you're interested in getting promotion on this channel, make sure to send us an email at complexambition401 at gmail, or you can send me a DM. It's a vibe on Twitter or Instagram. Also, we got promotion on Patreon. So make sure to subscribe to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash club ambition. Now back to the reaction. Shout out to everybody out in the world watching this. This is sound from club ambition. Make sure to smash that like button and comment down below your reaction to my reaction to this album afterlife by yeet the mysterious underground rapper who seems to have attention almost on a mainstream level it's hard to grasp a lot of people don't like his music i like his music i think he's really good it's just unique his last album was his biggest album his biggest project life this is a follow-up to life it's called afterlife so I didn't know it was dropping, came out of nowhere, but it goes hand in hand with the feeling lately that the industry is back open, music industry. We got uh, Don Tolliver, Ariana Grande, Lil Wayne, and now Yeet dropping new music. So let's listen to it together for the first time. Afterlife, the album by Yeet. If you want to watch the reaction unedited, a longer version is going to be on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash club ambition. But let's get into it. Track one. So long as all guys. That song is alright. I don't think it's amazing. Not one of my favorite Yee songs from what I've heard from him. Starting the album though, a lot more songs ago. And too long. What the it was mad long, bro. Why is it four minutes long? That's too fucking long. That's too long. That's too long. Next track, long awaited, long anticipated, young boy never broke again. YB and Yee. Schmunk. Schmunk. I could have sworn they collaborated together. Yeah, you heard me right. I can't hear shit. I can't understand shit so far. What is young boy gonna say on this? It was all right. I don't think that it was great. I don't think that it was like amazing. I think that it was going to work for streaming. Oh, they collaborated. But I don't know. It's dope that NBA Youngboy is diversifying. You know, he's multi dimensional with his art. He can go to Tyler Creator Lane. He can go to uh, Gangsta Grills Lane. He can go into his lane, New Orleans Lane. And he can also go into Yeet Lane and survive. I don't think it was awful. I just think that shit did not sound like what I expected at all. At all. Didn't sound like what I expected. Yeet and YB. But. Hey. what We can't do nothing about it now. Can't change that. It's already out. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Am I bugging? 
Yeet and Young Boy. I thought it was gonna sound better. I thought it was gonna sound better. Maybe if Yeet goes into Young Boy sound, that would be interesting. But would that even work? I don't know. Sometimes some collaborations don't need to happen. Sometimes you can't mix peanut butter with ketchup. To some people, that might sound delicious. To me, disgusting and maybe hard to swallow. Better off. I don't give a fuck what you say. You type and go talk to your mommy. Yo. And he's addressing here. He is addressing people saying that he just keeps saying the same thing and saying the same thing. And he said, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep saying the same thing. <laughs> oh. Wow. Fuck it. Listen, that's the thing. He is moving, I feel, in a direction where it's like he works with his fans. His fans want new music, he drops it. And he gives them plenty. He keeps them fed. He doesn't oversaturate it, but that's arguable. I feel like he it was too soon. You know, but maybe not. For me, it was. How about his fans? Maybe not to his fans, but to me, I felt like it was too soon. Like, damn, another Ye, Ye album is so damn long? 22 songs? But... Let's keep it going. Favorite song so far right there, Better Off. Rave Party featuring Cranky Cranky. Who the hell is Cranky Cranky? This is kind of scary. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, it's so eclectic and so like, what the fuck is going on? That to me is like, is this trash or is this art? This is beautiful art. Like, I don't understand it. That one, I don't know. But the title of that one is Rave Party. So it sounds like some rape, rave shit. I'll never go to a rave party in my life. I have a son now. I'm not risking my life. But God bless those people that do that. This might be for them. That one, not for me. Keep it going, because I love me, yeet. Let's see if I got some songs on here that I can replay. Okay, what is this? I, 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 I'm working on dying. interesting he's trying to do a different sound get hit by a train bitches my lane I'm dum 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 dum. like even more softer melodic almost elevator music vibe but it's uncomfortable because I didn't expect that and it's not yeet vibes but then I'm mad at the other song rave party because it's too much yeet it's too aggressive This is an interesting listening experience. This is all over the place. Next song, let's go. Whoa! I don't fuck with nobody, bitch. I got friends, leave my bear like some kids on me. Shout out to no fuss. Why they trying to check my fucking sound? Yo, this bass is crazy! For the long, fuck your money. I got all the money. Never give a fuck. I just went in. I like that one, probably because the production is pretty good. 
Uh, the bass is pretty good. I like that one. It's a uh, interesting sound, man. This guy is not your stereotypical. Like I don't know what people. When you listen to Yeet, you also can't expect the bars. You can't expect. It's just vibes. You either vibe with it or you don't. And you don't gotta like every song either. But it's like this weird feeling of like almost you heard this shit before. Especially this song, like it gives that Yeet vibe. Like I heard this already on the last two albums. I feel like, but I still like it. Like I still like it. It's not that I don't like it. Man, let me shut up. Little geeky. Now. That's one of his demons. I'm convinced Yeet makes like good trash like what people consider trash cuz like what the fuck is that he makes the best version of it in the sense of that it's not even trash no more it's like art it's like what is this you know like it, it I don't know how to, that's all it's weird I don't know how to describe it man it's like what the fuck is going on what the fuck is going on but I like it I like that one I like that one next one Y'all be calling the police, bitch, y'all not good for nothing Yo, that shit, I like that one, that was, that shit's hard That shit's hard That shit's hard Yo, that shit's hard. He produces all this, I believe, for the most part. You know, he has some producers, but I think for the most part, he has his own production in-house. He does it himself. He engineers, mix and masters himself. So it's impressive, man. Because why does he have to make shit that sounds like everyone else's? He doesn't have to. He could do his own shit. Seven Nights. Man, again, that one, not one of my favorites, not one of my favorites, not one of my favorites, if I'm being honest. That's what I'm gonna do with these songs. You can't, there's not much to describe them. Not one of my favorites, not one of my favorites. Next song, Mean Fiend, Cranky a Cranky. Again, I feel like Cranky, Cranky Cranky might be just him doing like different sounds and like different little vibes. It might just be that. It might just be that. I got See this song, I feel, I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot. That one's a lot, but like in a potential good way. Like it deserves more listens to that one. The whole album's a lot. He doesn't have to drop more music. I feel for the rest of the year. This is the only album he needs. It's a lot of music, guys. It's a lot of music. That one, I kind of like it. I kind of like that one. How it go? Next one. <laughs> That one's decent. I, I I feel like I've heard that one before. It gives me that the Yeet vibes. I don't even know what I'm saying no more. Let's just keep it going, guys. You guys let me know how the fuck you feel song for song. Next one, something to do. 
Man, that's the fucking problem with him, man. It's the fact that I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's doing. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes it's not enough. Sometimes I want more. What the fuck? I don't know. That's just crazy. I'm going to have to listen to it from the back here the whole time. I don't know no more. I ain't never trust a soul, but you read a black cup. Every time they drop an album, all that music pancake flops. And then it never stops. Uh -uh. Popping out in public. Uh -uh. Popping out in public, then it flops up. Red. Yeah. Got a chair, new red. It can fuck with the fans. And it coming in, it never stops. Uh -uh. Popping out in public. Uh -uh. Popping out in public. That one's alright. That one's alright. That one's alright. I don't love that one. I don't like it too much. It's okay. Um, extremely repetitive. I could do without that one. Might be my least favorite one off the whole album so far. Might, maybe. Maybe. But there's a couple other ones in the beginning. But let's keep it going. Split. That shit was like chaos. That one was chaotic. Like you enter this void of sound and it's like you can't escape it. It's crazy. How I'm a Yeet fan and I still can't describe him. Next song, Bad Ben slash Demon. I'm on a bad band and he What's going on, bro? Y'all, y'all, you guys win. I don't know what's happening no more. Every time I react to a fucking Yeet album, this shit happens to me. I feel like my body is put through a fucking ringer. My thoughts are scrambled. I What's going on? Uh, ooh, he turns into like a fucking owl. The whole song. Jesus, man. Ah, this shit's good, man. This good is good. It's not. Um, I think it's good. It's good art. It's just different. It's not better than his last album, and it's not better than Two Alive so far, in my opinion. In my opinion, so far. Keep it going. Watch. Oh, he's gonna whisper the whole song? That song is my favorite one so far, the whole album. It's like, what the fuck? That one's like the most different because like he's whispering. It's quiet, but it's good. It's unique. It's like, what the hell is going on? It's like a madness. 
production's insane. My favorite song. It stands out the most. Watch. That one's gonna be probably everywhere. TikToks, etc. Next one. So crazy, so crazy. He just randomly says shh for no reason. But he's kind of going off. And then he comes in and says shh to himself. Man, I tell you, boy. I tell you, boy. Back home. I'm taking my work. I'm taking my work. Yeah, hold that stock. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Now that one's different. That gives a different vibe from the, the shh, from the, what's the one that he was like quiet the whole time watch? Different vibe completely. And then also a different vibe from earlier where he was trying to be with the rave. So that's the thing. Even though people say he always says the same thing, sounds the same, there's differences. You gotta just spot them out and point them out. That one's different back home. But then also, this one's produced by, um, not him. Third to last, Type Money. This one was almost the most uh, legible. The more you, most you can hear him on the entire album is this song. His voice, the most normal. Man, it's crazy. This is the. I, 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 I'm working on dying. This production is crazy. But the devil be watching my eyes. But the devil be watching my eyes. You know when I had no fear. I'm changing the world like a river. Calling it Bugatti, I'm looking to be the better the bad stuff. I don't know what's going on, bro. Last song on the entire album, myself. <laughs> And there we have the Yeet album, Afterlife. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I think it has potential to grow on me more. It's an eclectic sound, rage rap with a more upbeat, fun experimentation. I do think that his previous two albums or projects, whatever you want to call them, are better than this one, especially Life, the most recent one, because that's what people are going to compare it to, because Afterlife is life. Now... What do you guys think? Comment down below, share your opinion. I don't know how to describe him. Very unique, very eclectic. It's scary at times, beautiful at times, ugly at times. I think it's just art and it's up for our interpretation. Everyone has their own opinion. I think Yeet is gonna stand alone. No one sounds like him. And if you try to sound like him, it's obvious. It's such a unique thing. That guy is a genius, but at the same time, it's okay if you don't like him. I know a lot of people who don't. Crazy album. This was a crazy experience. Such a wild reaction. Every time I listen to Yeet, it's fun. Every time I react to Yeet, it's fun. It's a fun experience. It's something that I think is, you know, 
needs to be done. Like, every time he drops an album, I need to react to it. Because I want to hear your guys' take. And I also, you know, now feel like I'm a part of the Yeet fan base, in a sense. But I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button. What the fuck was that that we just listened to? Happy birthday to me, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck was that, bro? If you enjoyed that reaction, make sure to check out more reactions right here in this link. Also, if you want to check out our podcast, full episodes available right there. And you can also find some clips readily available. Um, subscribe, smash that like button, and I love you, even though I don't know you.